So we've already looked at the multiple choice, question number two, question number three, and now we're moving to question number four, which is momentum. So question number four says, we have a ball P of mass 0.16 kilograms moving east at a speed of 10 meters per second to the exponent one. It collides head on with another ball, which is Q, of mass 0.2 kilograms, moving west at a speed of 15 meters per second. After the collision, ball P moves west at a speed of 5 meters per second, as shown in the diagram below. We must ignore the effects of friction and the rotational effects of the ball. We have before the collision, so the total momentum before the collision in opposite directions as head-on, after the collision, one moving in the opposite direction. Question 4.1 says we must define the term momentum in words. 4.1, define momentum of the object's mass and velocity. So definition of momentum is the product of the object's mass and velocity. So let's look at number 4.2. So the next question, the next question to the question that we're doing, it says, 4.2 says we need to calculate. 4.2.1 says we must calculate the velocity of ball Q after the collision, which is this diagram here. We have an unknown there. I'm going to move this one here so we have more space. So the velocity of ball Q after the collision. This is 4.2. We will be doing 4.2.1. Remember, for momentum, we always say sigma sine pi is equal to sigma sine pf. This means mass 1 v1i plus the mass of the second ball, velocity of the second ball, i. Then we're going to have mass 1 v1f plus the mass of the second ball, the velocity of the second ball, but we're looking for final velocity. Now remember, you have to choose direction, vectors in opposite directions. I've taken right as positive and left as negative. You could have done it vice versa. The mass of the first ball is 0.16 kilograms. It is also traveling a velocity of 10 meters per second to the right. Plus, they have a head-on collision. The second object has a mass of 0.2. It is moving with a velocity of negative 15 in the opposite direction, equal. After the collision, the first ball with a mass of 0.16 now moves in the opposite direction, which is negative five. It will now move to the left, plus the second ball has a velocity of 0.2, but we don't know what the velocity of it is and what the direction is. We are now going to calculate all those values and simplify. So the first one that I have, I've got 0.16. I must multiply that by 10. I therefore get 1.6. Let's do the next one. Remember to always include your negatives. I'm going to have 0.2 multiplied by negative 15 meters per second. That will give me a negative 3. That gives us a negative 3. And on this side, I'm going to have 0.16 kilograms. It now travels in the opposite direction, which will then be a negative 5. I then have a negative 0.8. 0 0.8 0 plus 0.2 Vf. I'm going to take the negative 8 to this side of the equation sign. When it jumps the equation sign, this will become a positive. Therefore, I'm going to have 1.6 minus 3 and positive. 0.8 is equal to 0.2 Vf. Let's simplify my left-hand side. I'm going to have 1.6 minus 3 plus 0.8, and I therefore have 0.6. I have a negative 0.6. Negative 0.6 on this side is all equal to 0.2 Vf. 
I want my VF to be the subject of the formula, I'm going to divide both sides with 0 0.2. What you do on the one side, you do on the other side. This and this will cancel. And I'm going to have VF, let's simplify that one. So I'm going to have negative 0 0.6. I must divide that by 0 0.2. And therefore, I'm going to get a negative 3. So my answer will be a negative 3 meters per second in physical sciences. A negative just means direction. So that will be VF is equal to 3 meters per second. We've chosen direction to the, uh, in this case, to the left as a negative. But the question used east and west, so it will be to the west. So this will then be to the west. Let's read the next question. Number 4.2.2 says we must calculate the magnitude of the impulse on the ball, on ball P, during the collision. The magnitude of the impulse. This will be 4.2.2, magnitude of impulse. Remember, you always get a mark for your formula, which will then be F net delta T is equal to M VF minus VI. The mass of ball P was a mass of 0 0.16 kilograms. The final velocity in the opposite direction was minus 5. And the initial velocity at which ball P was traveling was 10. Let's see the magnitude of the impulse that we will have. I can have 0 0.16. I'm going to have minus 5 minus 10. And therefore, I get negative 2.4. Negative 2.4 newtons per second equal the negative just means direction in physical sciences. I therefore can just make that negative 2.4 n of s. And that is the last question that we have for question number four, which was then momentum. Very, very easy.